We collect in a whole variety of ways. There's what you could describe as passive collecting and active collecting. Passive collecting is when someone rings you up and says, I have something, is it of any value to you? And active collecting is when you think, uh, I really need to get something from the 1930s or I need to get a membership ticket which we don't have from the 1950s, for example, and then you actively go and seek that object. And we have a collection policy which determines what we collect. So we don't collect everything that's offered to us because some things we don't want, they're not part of what our role is. Um, having said that, a lot of the collection's been donated to us. Some things we buy, um, but not a lot. We've got a lovely invitation that was sent, uh, was given to us. Um, it was sent by the club to a player in 1881, inviting him to come and play in a practice game. And the, the object itself, the little invitation like a postcard, was found in a, in a stamp fair in Italy by an Australian fellow who understood the significance of Essendon and bought it and brought it back to Australia and then uh, donated it to us. So that the fact that he found it in Italy was unusual. How it got there is, is a mystery. But we do know something about the, the object itself. It's signed by the former president and it was sent to a player called uh, Ryan. We've got gaps in our collection, so we don't have membership tickets for 1899 and 1900. So I'd like to get the 1899 and 1900 membership tickets to complete the set. I'd like, you know, ideally it'd be nice if we could find some um, documentation, original documentation around the formation of the club um, in the 1870s. So if we could find something that says, in this meeting, the Essendon Football Club is duly formed and these are the signatories to the club and all the rest of it, that would be, that would be fabulous to get something dated and signed by people at the time. I don't think that's going to turn up, but you know, we, we hope that one day maybe it will in an archive or a, or a ceiling or under someone's bed.